Houston fan for real. That's what's up. We couldn't ask for more perfect weather here today. And off we go in Santa Clara. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. Good looking return here, and he's got room. And they'll be looking at some decent field position. He's out of bounds up towards the 35. So their offense out now to get this game started. It's first and ten. Here's Williams to start the drive. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped at his own side at the 49. That play gains 15, and it moves the sticks. One play in, and already they're close to midfield. First and ten, looking to throw. Nice pass complete. Oh, call oh, that. That's the tight end. And they get there to touch him down, Brock, but a big gain on that play. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. And he has it down officially to the red zone at the 20. First down play, nets him five. It's going to be second and five. They give it to him again. And he gets leveled just before Why do you he turn that in you that hit prevents a first down. This shit is frustrating. Looking to throw on third and one. Escapes the pocket. That's caught for the first. And they'll get this down nearly to the end zone. Instead, stopped at the two. That's a gain of 13. And it sets him up with first and goal. You know, they call the, the money down for a reason because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. They'll try and punch it in. What a hit. He gets flattened to the ground. Give him a couple on the run, and it's now second and goal. Okay, all right. There's a little progress on first and goal. You keep it safe, you push a little closer, and now you're set up for what you want to do on second down. They're lining up on the doorstep, second and goal from inside the one. They'll look to run with Williams. And he'll get this across. Touchdown, Houston. The Texans finish up an excellent opening series. Kyron Williams, the touchdown. That one splits the uprights. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Taylor has it on the tee and is ready to send it flying. Starting at the 10. He's brought down at what looks like the 24-yard line. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. They're going to start on the ground with Camara. And he works through a lane for a gain up to the 30. He made it six on the play, bringing up second and four. Okay, this is why coaches across all levels of football harp on the importance of good fundamental tackling, not just to hear themselves talk. Uh-uh, it's to make sure that when one of their guys has a chance to bring down a running back, they're able to do it and keep those plays from going any further. Second and four. complete to Sam Laporta. 
Still has some space inside the 35. And now he's going to head out of bounds after a nice game. A very productive play from the rookie QB out of Washington. That gets them a first down. Yeah, right there. That's what you want to see on your opening drive. Boom! Connect on a big shot, and instantly you set a tone that you're not going to be afraid to be aggressive in this game today. Boy, do I love that. They won't snap it in time. That is going to be the end of the first quarter. Neither side separating much so far. Back to Levi Stadium right after this. We're back, and it's 49ers football as we resume. They'll try to attack this deficit starting with first and ten. Running behind center with Kamara. And they bring him down at the 25-yard line after surrendering some good yardage. Good rip on first down. That brings up second and two. That's a run that you'll take the result in the NFL every time. A nice play, a solid game, but it's also a run that you know and you may come back to. Because if you were that close to breaking off an explosive one, you'd really break the backs of the defense. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. They stay on the ground with Camaro. It's a great extra effort to keep that run going for a nice game. That play goes for eight yards, and it keeps this drive moving. This dude was just not going to be stopped. Not by the first defender, heck, not even by the second one who was able to bring him down. No, it took a few shots before this crew could finally get this piece down. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. Another run for Camara. And he will only get three here as we've reached the two-minute warning. Second down now, seven to go. They'll send him over right. Hands up to the receiver here in motion. Oh, look at this sweep. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Well, you call that play to surprise the defense, try to get to the goal line. But a quick adjustment by the defense, well, it kept him in position to make the stop and ruin that play. Third down, it's Penix. He's on the move. And he's brought down a little short. No, actually, they do give him the 10-yard line. You know, Kate, they always say that QB clock. You know what it's more like? It's more like an alarm, especially in a situation like that. And it's a good thing you woke up to it. Able to make something out of nothing and at least keep him moving forward. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And it's dropped back down now to a four-point game. In that close, in the red zone, you know they're upset. They couldn't finish the drive with the touchdown. It's only half the points, but at least there's something to show for the possession. Return coming from the six. And he's walloped just as he gets across the 25. What a hit. He's down shy of the 30. What is that? Drive starts out with a first and ten. They're going play action. Cut by Diggs. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. Timeout coming from the Texans. That's their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. So the big play gets him inside the opposing 45, Brock, with a new set of downs to boot. They go play action on first. Pass into the hands of Mark Andrews. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And they'll stop him after a minimal game, down to about the 36. 
Houston calls it second timeout. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Looking to throw on third. The screen pass falls incomplete. Well covered on that play. Really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in. Offense still staying out after the incompletion. They're going to try on four. Off the play fake. He's going to throw. Well, there's no way to on fourth down, and they'll turn over possession. Even the best receivers, they've got occasional breaks in concentration. You just never want to see it happen. One of the most important snaps of the game. If we know anything about this guy, though, it's he'll be up for the challenge the next time the ball comes his way. Penix now on first down. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he gets leveled just before he reaches the marker, and that hit prevents a first down. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Penix working from the gun. And that is incomplete. Eight seconds left now. Well, that's a major missed opportunity for the offense. And a sigh of relief for the defense. You've got to adjust a little bit. Get some extra help on the back end of your defense to take those shots away. Well, you got cartoons on the background. What? This one falls incomplete, so we're down to four seconds, and we'd assume our final snap. Oh, look at those savvy linebackers. They're just right in the middle of everything, aren't they, Kate? And it seems like at times they are the quickest reactions as well. He needed a quick one right there to get a finger on the throw and change its direction. He beams one deep right side. And it's going to be incomplete. Couldn't connect oh, no. to extend the drive. We've reached the midway point of this contest. Two quarters down and an exciting two to go. The NFL on EA Sports returns after this. Well, that first half, certainly an interesting one. Kate Scott, Brock Heward with you as we get back and see what the second half has in store for us. Taylor has it on the tee and is ready to send in flying. He fields it from the eight. And pretty solid field position <laughs> starting out here. Boy, on I want to block. Is that the end of They're out and set. First and ten. First play, they go quick out to the left, complete. And they'll get there and stop him at the line. No gain on the play. Brings up second and ten at the 30 yard line. Throwing for the pistol, Penix. Bro, that ball's gone. He just got it away before the hit, but the pass winds up incomplete. It's going to be third down. That is a DB's best friend's pressure. That pressure earned that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target and hit him to alter that last second attempt to get rid of it. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. From the shotgun, Penix. Can't connect on the third down deep shot. Dude, it's 6 8 ain't even jump. To try it, but it's incomplete, and now we've got fourth down. The offense not shy about sending them downfield to try and stretch that secondary, even still. 
One of the deeper targets you'll see him get. It's a shame they couldn't find a connection. Should be just bitch ass Brian Anger getting the call early, on the fourth down, down, down punt. And this somehow is only going to be our first punt of the game. He has it at the 22. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. It's a 61-yard punt that time. And it's going to be Texans football. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Second half starts with a run by Williams. What? And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stops. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. Okay, don't think for a second this is time to step off the gas. You can feel this defense, right? They're on their heels. And now's the best chance to go push the envelope and get aggressive. Play action on first down. <laughs> He's got Andrews. It's a 26-yard pickup there. And the Texans are going to have a first down. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. Ready, ready. Here's first and 10 from the 34. Ready. Lone back gets the handoff. And without much room, he's going to go down at the 32-yard line. Offense up to the line fast. Frank Gore Jr. nice or what? First down, but also set up what's ever in your back pocket for third down. But you know what? Throw it all away. None of it matters now if you can't hang on to the doggone football. And the defense pounces on that one in a hurry. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Throwing now, following the turnover. That's incomplete, trying to set up the screen there. This one intended for the running back. So that brings up second down. Hey, Kate, I know it's unrealistic to expect a 100% completion rate from anywhere on the field. But in this close, you really shouldn't be missing too many throws. Those need to be borderline automatic. Now the first carry for Nick Chubb. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Offense in the hurry up here. Third and long for him here. Tight end cut across the middle. And he's officially in the enemy territory now. And they're going to give him the opposing. 49. This one goes for an even 25 yards. And it brings up a San Francisco first down. Three quarters in the books from this one. It's 49ers ball, and they're sort of in comeback mode here. They trail to start the fourth. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. They run it from the gun with Camara. And he's into the front for a gain of about two. Moving quickly, trying to get set again. From the 48. Tight end has it across the middle. And he's taken down at the 30. Working quickly here. First down. First down at the 30 yard line. I don't 
Oh, what the hell is that? They send the tight end in motion left. That's about to be ugly. On first down, here's Penix. He's got it at the six. And they're going to take this in for the San Francisco touchdown. The 49ers have taken the lead late. Extra point upcoming. This to put it to a field goal game. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. The 49ers have it on the tee as they kick it away here. Starting from the five. And he gets crunched by a big hit <laughs> right at the 25 to end that turn. <laughs> and the drive will start out with a first and ten. Lone back in the backfield, and he gets the handoff. And he's out of bounds. Couldn't gain anything on that one. And we have reached our two-minute warning. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Now to throw. And the cover just too good there. Didn't find the throw that he was confident in, so just throws it away. Third down coming up. Here he is to throw. No fucking way. And he's going to get this up to the 45 yeah. before he's brought down. They get 20 yards out of the play and move the chains. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. Oh, he dropped that. Oh, I'm just sick. Well, that was almost one of those nice chunk plays you like to see in the NFL team before he was able to recover and provide the hit and ultimately dislodge the football. You like to see that physical hey, edge. Hey, Tebow went out here like that. Like to... Any kind of shot plays down the field. To the right side, complete big gain here. And he's going to be drugged down, looks like at that 37-yard line. Give him 18 yards on that play, Brock, and it gets him a first down. Bullshit, right? You know I love those chunk completions. They're so critical. Those chunk plays, they lead statistically so often to scoring. And then when you get it to a tight end and play action, it's just a little icing on the cake. Markers reset, ball at the 37. To throw. The screen. Ooh. We'll take well, the pressure nearly got to him, but still a good play defensively as that one falls incomplete. Well, that's one you chalk up to the pressure earning that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target, hit him, altered that last second attempt to get rid of it. That's a pick. <laughs> Come on, dog. He got a bail with that. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. Wary of the clock here, Brock, but at least all their timeouts are still available. It's first and ten. Jukes one defender. And he's brought down a little short. No, actually they do give him the ten-yard line. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. Over, bro. We get a timeout here taken by the 49ers. That's going to be their first. Second and six coming up here. Throwing now. I shit. Escapes the puck, and he will score. Oh. In the final minute. Absolutely clutch score there, Brock, as they take the lead here in the final minute. Incredible execution. The moment not too big for any of them, and Kate, they cashed in when it really mattered. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. Taylor has it on the tee and is ready to send and fly. That's going to be taken in at the eight. Oh, he's shown some burst on his return. His return reaches that 34-yard line before he stopped.
Grimes starts out with a first and ten. Looking to throw it. Tight end making a the play there on the corner route. And they make the stop. We're going to say it about the 37 yard line. I love throwing a first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. <laughs> He'll look to throw it. And that's incomplete, and it also stops the clock with just five seconds left. Yeah, that was almost a nice chunk play before he was able to recover and provide the hit that dislodges the football. You like to see that physical edge and scrappiness to contest any kind of shot plays deep. Well, where is he in? Setting up to pass. GG's either way. This is for the ball game. Ah. And they win it. They win it. Hey, yo, I'd be sick. In position for one. Hey, GG's either way, though. Brock, and they come through in a moment that required absolute perfection. They were indeed perfect, and it wins them this game. Yo, I'd be sick. Hey, GG's, yo. You guys go. Because that play is going to run through their mind over and over and over again tonight. Could not get the stop they needed. That one play to make them victors. So the 49ers take the win here in front of the faithful in Santa Clara. This is the type of game everyone was hoping they'd see when they entered this stadium, Brock. You and I included. <laughs> a close one that went all the way down to the final whistle. And Kay, this is one of the bigger adjustments a college player has to make to the NFL. In college, you get a lot of blowouts. The NFL, every game you get calloused because mm. you know more often than not, they'll be like this, a one-possession game. It's not about how you start. It's all about how you finish. Yeah, because we finish. No pause.